So now from the Canary Islands to another piece of botanical heaven with Jerry. I'm in a little slice of suburban paradise. I'm in a Brisbane garden filled with one of my favourite garden plants, aloes. Aloes are succulents. There's over 400 species, and in the wild you'll find them growing on the Arabian Peninsula, Sub-Saharan Africa and Madagascar. Michael Dent fell in love with aloes as a child growing up in South Africa. And when he gave up chartered accountancy to become a landscape designer, his passion for aloes was reawakened. And he now grows them here in Brisbane. What I like about aloes is their architectural shape and form and the flowering qualities, the fact that they have such a wide range of colour, wide range of flowering times and such spectacular flowers. Aloes are relatives of the red hot poker and they all share some common characteristics. For example, they all carry their flowers in spikes like this. The flowers individually are tubular, full of pollen and nectar. They might be carried on a single branch or as in this plant, and this is called moon glow, they're branched. The leaves are always sword shaped and they have a toothed margin. They're carried in whorls, and sometimes aloes will form tight clumps. Other times they'll have a single stem, just like this one, with a nice clean trunk. How did you actually set up your garden to make it aloe friendly? Was it easy? Yes, it, it was relatively easy. This is a very young garden, probably three years ago it wasn't here. What is necessary is good sunlight, well-drained soil, good organic soil, and I mean really organic soil with things like cow manure in it. One of the things aloes don't like is wet feet. So it's important if one has clay soils to raise the soil with sand and add some organic material. But it doesn't have to be raised that much because the aloe roots are surface roots, they don't go deep. So just a little bit of soil and one can get healthy aloes. The trick is to find the right aloe to grow in the right environment. Michael, this wall looks really good. Yes, Jerry. you know, in habitat, many aloes grow on cliff faces. So it's a perfect opportunity to showcase them on rock walls. It allows a gardener to increase their surface area of their garden because they're not only planting horizontally, it gives them the vertical canvas too. What is that aloe that's clasping the rocks up there? That's aloe striata, which has a lovely pink flower that flowers later in the year. So in this garden, one has flowers for 10 months of the year. Traditionally, the aloes that have been grown in gardens have been wild species. But over the last 30 years, hybridists have focused their efforts on producing aloes that are suited to a wider range of climates and with superior flowers. How easily do aloes hybridise? Jerry, very easily. In fact, many home gardeners hybridise their own aloes. This is a great example. It's called Aloe Aries. Its parents, believe it or not, the one parent is a six metre tall giant called Aloe Ferox which is a, a white flowering plant, but it brings the white flowers and also the big flowers. Another parent is a spotted aloe, and the spotted aloe brings longevity of flowering. So this plant flowers all during the year. And the third parent is uh, one called aloe juvena, and it brings the trailing qualities to this plant. Now, what's this hybrid? This is aloe outback orange. It's a really big flower, it gives you a huge splash of colour in midwinter. The flowers will improve with age in terms of volume, so um, it really is a, one of the showiest of all the aloes. And the native bees are loving it. Certainly they don't look unhappy, do they? One of the things I admire about Michael's garden is the way that he grows aloes in containers. Now, these plants don't like a lot of water. If you grow them in terracotta pots and a freely draining soil, you could be enjoying these right up in the wet tropics. Growing aloes in pots next to a pool is very practical. Firstly, their roots are never going to affect the structure of the pool. Plus, aloes can tolerate some splash water, which makes them very useful plants in this situation. This is a really special aloe, aloe always red. And why it's special, it flowers for a long period. Now this plant is probably 18 months old. It only grows uh, to about 30, 35 centimetres tall right. 
and at maturity it flowers for up to 10 months of the year. Now there's not much around that will give you 10 months of year of colour and it's perfect for mass planting. In a bed, a field of these is really spectacular. And it looks very spiky, but these are really quite soft, yeah. aren't they? Yes. The, one of the things many people think aloes are fierce, uh, but in fact the margins are very soft. They, they might scratch you, but they're not going to damage you in, or injure you in any way. Aloes make hardy, dramatic, colourful additions to any garden, anywhere. Just remember to give them freely draining soil and regularly add compost and you could be enjoying them for a lifetime.